Governor Tom Wolf has vowed to protect abortion rights as long as he remains in office. And in some neighboring states, the medical procedure has already been banned following Friday's Supreme Court ruling. It has abortion clinics here in Pennsylvania preparing for an influx of out-of-state patients. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz has more. Since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade on Friday, several states have already banned abortion, including Ohio. The last remaining clinic in West Virginia has also stopped procedures. It's something that uh, we knew from the beginning would be overruled at some point in time because the whole Roe decision was not based on the Constitution at all. Here in Pennsylvania, abortion rights remain protected. That's why Planned Parenthood is already expecting thousands of patients will cross into the Commonwealth over the next several months. We can anticipate approximately 8,500 additional patients coming from out of state into Pennsylvania for abortion care. The group says it's working in overdrive to make sure they all have somewhere to go. We've been working over time to add appointment availability across our health centers to hire more doctors and then to expand access through telemedicine and also through direct to patient medical abortion, meaning we can mail medical abortion directly to people's homes in Pennsylvania. And as tensions surrounding the court's decision remain high, Planned Parenthood is also upping security at all of its clinics. We certainly know that opposition will increase and they are becoming emboldened. Leaders of the Pennsylvania Pro-Life Federation say their job now is to inform and educate those on the opposing side. Our efforts are not to castigate these people, it is to try to help educate them about why it is that the Supreme Court has ruled that, that abortion is not protected by the Constitution. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News. And